Anouk Aimé is a French film actress who has been in the movie industry for over six decades. She is known for her roles in films like La Dolce Vita and A Man and a Woman. Her performances have touched many lives and we're curious to hear about yours. Have you ever been inspired by Anouk Aimé? Maybe her movies brought comfort or joy at just the right time. Which of her films or characters do you love the most? And we're not just looking for stories. We want to know about that moment with Anouk Aimé that you'll never forget. Your experiences mean a lot, and we invite you to share them in the comments. Stay tuned because we've got some surprising, amusing, and even poignant facts about Anouk Aimé coming up that you won't want to miss. Anouk Aimé, born as Nicole Françoise Florence Dreyfus on April 27, 1932 in Paris, France, is the daughter of actor Henry Murray and actress Genevieve Soria. Growing up in the world of cinema, she was influenced early on by her parents' careers. Amé's film debut came at the age of 14 in the movie La Maison Sous La Mer, and she adopted her stage name shortly after. Her performance in La Dolce Vita and a man and a woman gained international recognition, shaping her career path and leading to a long-lasting presence in the film industry. Anouk Aimé's early life was marked by a significant move during World War II. Born in Paris, she was sent away to Barbizou saint hilaire by her parents to avoid the Val de Hive roundup. During those years, she used her mother's maiden name, Duran, to prevent the need for wearing the yellow badge, a measure imposed on Jews by the occupying forces. In her acting career, Anouk Aimé is notably recognized for her role as Lola in the film Model Shop, a character she also portrayed in Jacques Demy's earlier film Lola from 1961. Her stage name, Anouk, was inspired by her character in the 1946 film La Maison Sous la Mer, directed by Henry Califf. The surname Aimé, meaning beloved, was bestowed upon her by writer Jacques Prévert after her role in his film La Fleur de L'Age. These names have since become synonymous with her identity as an actress. After a long absence from the stage, Anouk Aimé returned in 1990 to perform in Love Letters as Alexa. Directed by Lars Schmidt, who had seen her initial stage work, she later played this role with various actors, including Bruno Kremer and Gerard Depardieu. During the filming of A Man and a Woman, director Claude Liloch developed feelings for Aimé, but she was involved with Pierre Barreau, whom she married. Aimé is among the select group of French actresses nominated for an Academy Award, sharing this honor with legends like Claudette Colbert and Marion Cotillard. Anouk Aimé, born to Henry Murray, and Genevieve Soria comes from a background where her father's Alsatian Jewish heritage played a significant role. Her career includes a notable nomination for an Academy Award for Best Actress, a recognition she shared with Emmanuel Riva. Both were nominated for portraying characters named Anne opposite actor Jean-Louis Trentignan. Anouk Aimé's personal life has been just as eventful, with well-known relationships with actors Warren Beatty and Omar Sharif. Her journey reflects a blend of professional acclaim and personal encounters with fellow stars of the silver screen. Anouk Aimé's journey into the arts began early with dance lessons at the Opera de Marseille. Her talent soon transitioned to the silver screen, leading to a Best Actress Oscar nomination in 1966 for her role in A Man and a Woman. This recognition placed her among the top earliest surviving nominees for this award. Her personal life also drew attention, particularly her relationship with Jean-Pierre Mocky, who revealed his affection for her in his autobiography. Despite his intentions to propose, Aimé's affair with Serge Reguigny led Maki to abandon his plans. Nevertheless, he played a significant role in her casting for the film Head Against the Wall. Anouk Aimé's time on the set of Justine was marked by tension. She frequently left to see her fiancé, Albert Finney, and her threats to not return caused delays. George Cukor, who took over directing, felt her performance was lacking and hurt the film. Despite this, in 1995, she was named one of the sexiest stars in film history by Empire Magazine. Yet, despite her fame, she has not been in a film nominated for the Best Picture Oscar as of 2010. Anouk Aimé's acting journey began with her stage debut as Regina in Julian Green's play Sud in 1953. This experience left her with a fear of stage performances, causing a long hiatus until her return to theater in 1990. She was also in the running for the role of the Baroness in The Sound of Music, which was later played by Eleanor Parker. Additionally, Aimé was connected with the artistic circles of Jean Cocteau and Raymond Queno, which influenced her career and choices in the film industry. Anouk Aimé broke new ground as the first French actress to receive both a Golden Globe 
and a BAFTA award for her French-speaking role in A Man and a Woman. Her performance not only earned her these accolades, but also an Oscar nomination, making her the first to be recognized in this way for a French-speaking part. Later, Marion Cotillard would follow in her footsteps, winning an Oscar for La Vie and Rose, and portraying Aimée's character Louisa from Eight in the musical Nine. Aimée's career was shaped by her relationships with influential figures like director Federico Fellini and actor Marcello Mastroini, who she acknowledges as key influences in her acting career. Her skills were honed early on with dance and stage acting lessons from André Bauer Theron in the 1950s, setting the foundation for her distinguished performances. Analk Aimée's dedication to her craft earned her the Prix Henri Lengua in 2009, a recognition of her significant contributions to film. Beyond the screen, she is deeply committed to environmental and animal welfare causes, holding membership in the Jane Goodall Institute of France, and maintaining a close friendship with Jane Goodall. Her personal life intertwined with her professional one during the 70s and 80s when she was in a relationship with Eli Chowarakwi, who directed her in several films, including Mon Premier Amour and Sel Quedjane. Anouk Aimé's talent in the film industry is evident through her achievements and the roles she was considered for. She made history as the first actor to be nominated for an Oscar for a performance in French, recognized for her role in A Man and a Woman. Her skill was further acknowledged when she received the Etoile de Cristal for Best Actress due to her role in La Dolce Vita. Interestingly, the title role in Mademoiselle was intended for her, a gift from Jean Janet, a close friend, and best man at her wedding. However, due to various circumstances including the script being sold multiple times and the changing preferences of director Georges Franju, she did not play the part. Ultimately, Tony Richardson directed the film and Jean Moreau was cast in the lead role. Amay's journey reflects the dynamic nature of the film industry where opportunities can shift and evolve unexpectedly. Anak Amay's journey in acting began by chance at the young age of 14. While walking with her mother in Paris, she caught the eye of director Henry Califf, who offered her a role in a film. Her talent soon caught the attention of writer Julian Green, leading to her portrayal of Regina in Set on Stage, and subsequently, the lead in the film Adrian Meseret. Her personal life also saw dramatic turns. Her relationship with Albert Finney came to an end as she found love with Ryan O'Neill. While working on the set of a man and a woman, Jean-Louis Trintignant expressed discomfort in collaborating with Anau Kami, describing her as distant. He found more enjoyment interacting with the young actors during the production. And Al Kami's fame reached a point where she was named in Bette Midler's song Same Diet Vendredi from the album Songs for the New Depression, highlighting her as a notable figure among other celebrities. Her talent in the French film industry was recognized when she became the first French actress to receive an Academy Award nomination for a performance in French. This paved the way for other actresses like Isabella Janney, Marie-Christine Barrault, Catherine Deneuve, Marion Cotillard, Emmanuel Riva, and Isabel Huppire to follow in her footsteps. Anouk Aimé, a celebrated actress, shares her birth date with Casey Kasem, known for his radio and voiceover work. Her lifelong friendship with Mitchell Piccoli began in acting classes, leading to their collaboration in several films over the years. Aimé also took an active role in politics, showing her support for Lionel Jospin during the 22 presidential campaign in France. Her career and personal engagements reflect a deep connection with both the cinematic and political spheres. Anouk Aimé, known for her acting career, has a personal history that includes being the ex-stepmother of Simon Finney. Her career could have taken a different turn when she was considered for a role in At Lake Lugano, a film that was never produced. The reasons behind the project's cancellation are still debated. Aimé's perspective is that director Robert Altman's authoritative nature would have made collaboration difficult. Lieutenant Barbara Turner, the writer, suggests that Altman was displeased with Aimé's unfamiliarity with his work and preferred another actress, Annie Jurdot. Despite this, Aimé and Altman later worked together in the film Ready to Wear. Beyond her professional life, Aimé's early years were influenced by friendships with influential artists and thinkers. At 17, through Jacques Prévert and Alexander Troner, she met notable figures like Alberto Giacometti, Pablo Picasso, and Simone Signor. The circle also included Jean-Paul Sartre, Jean Janet, and Nikos Papatakis, who became her second husband. These relationships undoubtedly shaped her life and career. Anak Aimé's journey into acting was as unexpected as it was fateful. 
Her education began at Rue Milton School in Montmartre, followed by time in Barbizou St. Hilaire. She experienced life in a boarding school in Bandol and the Alpine town of Medjev. Her role as a mother came with the birth of her daughter, Manuela Papatakis, on September 15, 1951. Aimé's accidental entry into the film industry with La Maison Sous La Mer led to more roles in the 1940s. Seeking further education, she moved to England to study in a nunnery school and pursued theatrical studies, shaping her early career in the arts. Anau Kemi, the esteemed actress, is not only proficient in her native French, but also speaks Italian and English with ease. Her linguistic skills have allowed her to perform in a variety of international films. Reflecting on her career, Aimé has expressed regret over declining certain roles, particularly the lead in The Thomas Crown Affair, which was ultimately portrayed by Faye Dunaway. This decision remains the one she most wishes she had made differently, highlighting the unpredictable nature of choosing roles in the film industry. Anau Aimé, a celebrated French actress, faced a personal tragedy early in her life. At the age of 14, she was in a severe car accident that resulted in significant facial injuries. This event could have ended her aspirations for acting, but she overcame this challenge with determination. Despite the physical and emotional scars, Anouk Aimé went on to have a successful career in film, becoming known for her roles in movies like La Dolce Vita and A Man and a Woman. Her resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to her strength and dedication to her craft.